With life exchange double exposure so close around the corner, the golden question is, should you be replaying the original Life is Strange or any other game in the Life is Strange series before you play double exposure? Ultimately, I feel like you don't have to play any of the other games in order to play this new game coming out October 29th. I don't think that it's going to negatively impact your gameplay if you don't know the characters beforehand. Each game kind of stands on its own anyways, but if you want to be able to enjoy the lore, the emotional pool, really understand the Max and Chloe story, which was the basis of the first Life is Strange, then I do think you should go back and play the game in this certain order. So I'm going to read out the order and then explain why. So number one, starting with the original Life is Strange. That makes sense. That's the original lore. That's how we get to meet the main characters of the first game, which is Max and Chloe. Number two, you would play Life is Strange before the storm. So this was a prequel that showed Chloe's life with Rachel before Rachel disappeared. Then you would play the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, which introduces the characters you'll see in Life is Strange 2. So then you would play Life is Strange 2, where you play the two brothers, which is actually a very heartfelt game as well. Then you would play True Colors, which is the most recent Life is Strange game before Double Exposure. And then the DLC from True Colors is called Wavelengths, which you'll meet Steph, who's an important character in True Colors, but also kind of ties back to the original Life is Strange. So if you want to have all that lore and all that background and all that understanding, I think you would play those five, you know, five or six games before this new one comes out. But if not, you'll totally be able to keep up with the game. I'm sure they're going to do a lot of explaining and recapping. And there's going to be tons of playthroughs, walkthroughs, and reviews on YouTube before the game comes out if you want to catch up that way. Let me know in the comments below, have you played the entire Life is Strange series?